Okay, this will be uh, somewhat similar and somewhat different. So here we need to know how many, if we have six atoms of americium, we have to figure out how many grams of americium that is. All right, and for this you might also need these conversion ratios here. So you might need to look up some conversion ratios. That's AM, which is americium. Hmm. That's the best way to do this. A couple different ways. Maybe I should give you another conversion ratio. Um, So here's another conversion ratio that's helpful. We know that one mole is the same as 6.02 times 10 to the 23 individual particles. Right? One mole, remember, means this number. Now, why did I say individuals here? Because the identity of the individuals depends on what you're looking at. For example, if you have a mole of eggs, that would be 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd eggs. Or if you have a mole of molecules, that would be 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Or if you have a mole of atoms, that would be 6.02 times 10 to the 23 atoms. If you have one mole of neon atoms, that would be 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd neon atoms. Or if you have a mole of water molecules, that would be 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd water molecules. So you have to fill in what is a reasonable word for these individuals here, depending on what you're working with. Okay, so that gives us another um, conversion ratio here. Um, that's still a little tricky, but let's try to, to work that out then. So now um, uh, let's, try to, uh, let's try to do this. I can give you some help if you get stuck. So let's try to work that out on paper. Yes. One mole of americium is 243 grams. From the periodic table. All right, let's talk about that a little. So what are our starting units? Americium. Good. This is an element that I think was named after America. Okay. So six atoms of uh, americium. And um, our, what are our target units? So I write that all the way over here. So you should write the target units on the right and the starting units over here. Now it's obvious that these units are atoms of americium. So we wrote down these units as atoms of americium. Now we would like these units to be grams of americium. But we can only do that if we have a conversion, an equivalency between these. Now, we cannot use this conversion over here, because this doesn't have atoms of americium, it has moles of americium. So 
Unfortunately, we cannot put grams of americium on the top yet. We're going to have to do multiple conversions because we don't have an equivalency that goes directly between. So the periodic table does not go directly between grams and atoms. It goes, it goes between grams and moles. All right, so what are we going to have to do? What, what, what do we need to change this into in order to be able to use this equivalency? Yeah, so what, what, what unit should I put up here? I think you're on the right track. That's right. Moles of americium. I'll put in a slash. How do I know that those are useful? Because then I can use this equivalency. I need to get moles before I can use the periodic table. All right, but now I need to put numbers on the top and the bottom here. How do I know what numbers to put on the top and the bottom of this fraction? Can you write this down on the paper? Yeah, uh, go ahead. Take your time. That's good. That's okay, but I don't think we're ready for the calculator yet, and here's why. We don't have numbers for the middle conversion. So we can't use this unless we have the appropriate numbers in this case. So um, but, uh, now that we, if we got into moles, then we could use the moles per gram, the period table, but we still have to figure out what's the equivalency between moles of americium and atoms of americium. Right, so let's try putting that in. Avogadro's number is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Right. So, in this case, we know that in general, one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd individuals. So what would that mean here? Well, that would mean that one mole of americium equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And what are the individuals here? Well, if we're dealing with moles of americium, the individuals are atoms of americium. So like I said, you have to put in your own you have to put in the, the, um, your own choice for what the individuals are in, in any particular case. If I had one mole of eggs, then the individuals would be 6 times 10 to the 23rd eggs. But in this case, I've got one mole of americium. So the individuals are 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of americium. So where does the number 1 go? It goes with the moles on the top. And the 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd goes on the bottom here with the atoms. That should make sense. There are um, many eggs in one dozen. Well, there's many atoms in one mole. Um, so those are where we put the numbers. Now that we have numbers everywhere, only now can we do the calculation. Okay. Thank you. 